All right, peace, family. What's going on? It's your boy. Let's talk. We back with another trending hot topic commentary show where we do all the latest and hottest reaction and reviews. I'm your host, N. Lynch. Let's talk. Uh, so let's dive right into this video. Y'all see the thumbnail, the title of the video. Let's 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 chop it up. So I've been waiting a couple of weeks, you know, to talk about this. Now, for people who's been following me, y'all know that. So like people who've been following me since the very very beginning i'm talking about my day ones for the last two years my very first video on this platform was referring to grandmaster j in the nfac y'all can go look it up my my y'all can still check it out it's in my video catalog and um you know we can go from there you know i started off my youtube um <laughs> my youtube career basically off of you know talking about Grandmaster J and the NFAC and the marches that was happening in Brunswick, Georgia, you know uh, Louisville, Breonna Taylor, all that stuff, and you know you fast forward two years later, now my man is facing t possibly twenty seven years. That's crazy, and um, you know I see videos, people talking about it, mixed reviews, um, some people. You know, are happy about it. They, you know, making fun. A lot, uh, and some people are, you know, a little upset about it. And you got some people who just don't care or don't know. Um, what I do see though is that a lot of the people that was around during like the time last year or the or like the end of twenty twenty when he got arrested. they're not really here on the on the platform like that no more because a lot of those people was like um like in support of like the stuff that happened on January 6th and all that stuff and I don't know if y'all know that but you know a lot of these platforms was getting all those people out of there cause they, they looked at everyone as part of that conspiracy theory group you know with the whole Trump and all that stuff so that's that but on this particular situation with Grandmaster J like he was convicted you know found guilty on, on everything and you know he he's facing 20 years on one and possibly another seven years on another uh with a total of 27 years my man is already like in his 60s i mean he looks good for his age and all that stuff but he's an older man um i'm sure his lawyers and everyone is gonna you know try to take some type of um, position or deal, whatever, where they can get the lowest sentence possible. But man, come on! <clears throat> and this just goes to show you, you know what they do to people who stand up. You know because you know whether you like Grandmaster J or not, whether you hate him, whether you say that he was an expert or he was a fraud. You know, in in his military prowess, one thing's for sure, two things for certain that. You know, he woken, awoken, you know, a, a sleeping giant within the, the black culture in, in, in America over the last, past two years. You know, since the NFAC came out, first came out, you know, in 2020, there was a boom of, of black uh, legally uh, gun ownership. Thanks to him. Because a lot of people, a lot of uh, African Americans are ignorant to the laws in their particular, you know, region. And a lot of us are brought up to believe that we're not allowed to have guns. I mean, that sounds crazy, but, like, it's, it's something deeper and psychological, you know, that comes with it. Like, as far as with blacks, like, just blacks walking around outside the street with a gun. Like, <clears throat> I, and I, I believe it's from the slave mentality. That it looks wrong for us to, you know, have that. And he was one of the people, Grandmaster J, was like, no, we, we, we need that. You know, he's he wasn't the only one. He wasn't the first or the last. But what I'm saying is, in the era of social media, in the era of, you know, the pandemic and everything, he he made people see that, all right, we, we can do this. And not only that, but, you know, he came out in a time during... 
a lot of you know a lot of lynches started happening in 2020. It's what's still going on now to this day, what people are not really talking about now. But you know, a lot of lynchings happened. A lot of you know, um, black people were being you know unalive from the hands of you know the police or just other nationalities. Just this wrong stuff. It's he came out during that time. His his group came out during that time, and I've mentioned this several times before, and I'm going to mention this again. <clears throat> I never a hundred percent agree with Grandmaster J on everything he do. I don't a hundred percent agree with anyone. You know, I believe there's always room um, to have your own, you know, free will and thinking. You know, but I agree with the message. And shout out to Drop Dom because he used to say that all the time. You know, like, it's not really about Grandmaster J. It's about the message, the idea, you know, about, you know, black people standing up and coming together and being armed legally and, and showing the people that we can be organized and just as well. We don't have to be clumsy and, and, and unorganized and, and just rapid, doing whatever and chaotic. Chaotic. <clears throat> you know, we can have some type of function with us. You know, kind of like a small version of what Michael Max and them did back in the 60s and, and the Black Panthers and everything. You know, that was the, that was his new versions of that. And it all ended, you know, one day in Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> and now here we are. Um, It's so crazy because now it's like, I guess they assumed that it would put a deterrence on people, you know, deterrence. And it probably would have. But what I'm seeing now from the mindset of a lot of African American people is, you know, a lot of us have awoken from the BS. We're not like our parents or grandparents. We're not, you know, buying into the belief into the notion of, you know, equality in the American dream. Like, we under, start to understand that it's a lot of BS going on. And we got to start, you know, handling and taking care of ourselves and doing for ourselves. <coughs> just kind of just like with um, Kevin Samuels, you know, on that aspect. When people thought that, you know, once Kevin Samuels is gone, that the talking points is going to stop. And no, not actually. It actually made it just grow more. And I think this is what's going to happen with Grandmaster J. All they're going to do is just turn him into a martyr. You know, more people are going to stand up. Especially like like, like people getting tired. All this, you know, on the live stuff that's happening across the world in the, in the, in the cities in America. Like, so people, other people are going to stand up more and more and more. Like, it's not going to stop now. Like, I think we're in a time of the revolution. And... <laughs> and we're going to start seeing some stuff happen really soon whether that be good or bad but I'm just going to keep praying for my God Grandmaster Jay I'll pray for the NFAC, the organization and prayerfully he appoints someone you know um, second in command and they can continue on but like I said if not then there's others who's going to stand up and do the exact same thing so um, good job, uh, Mr. Uh, John Johnson, a.k.a. Grandmaster Jack. That's all I got to say. Let me know y'all thoughts. Drop your comments down below. Um, make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon. And prayerfully, I will see you on the next video. Alright, peace.